Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I'm Taylor, if you guys are new here. Um, it is Wednesday now. I, oh my gosh, there's like flies. Um, oh, I'm so tired today. What was I just saying? Oh, I got an Amazon package and um, if you guys would have watched one of my previous videos, I talked about how I like want to organize the shorts and like Austin's pants in the closet. Um, cause I got my pants organized. So I'm going to do the same thing with his pants that I did with mine with the small hangers. And then I actually got, I think this is the package. I hope this is, um, I'm trying to think where I found these at. same girl Ariana Vitali on TikTok I think it's about her uh, that's not my address by the way that's just the Amazon <laughs> um I got these hangers they look like this and they're just like wooden and you can like clip things on which I really like. So I'm going to do these for Austin shorts. Maybe my shorts. I'm not sure. These came in a pack of 10. These are a little bit pricier than the baby hangers. I will say that. Um, I think it was like around $20 for 10 hangers. Which I know is kind of crazy but I feel like you don't buy hangers a lot. I don't know. I feel like I never buy hangers. So anyways. That is that. Um, I'm gonna go do his shorts and pants now in the closet. And you guys, I didn't even tell you this. I, so backstory. I, actually, I actually have two things to tell you. So first thing, I had my, I was supposed to have my infusion this morning. I get there. I drive 35 minutes, cause that's like how far away it is, which is like fine. Like I don't mind driving there, but I get there and the girl's like, oh my gosh, no one called you? And I'm like, what do you mean no one called me? She's like, well, we didn't receive the order from your physician. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I couldn't get infused today. Which is kind of annoying, but it's fine. Um, so I have to either go tomorrow or Friday. I'm waiting for, to hear back from them on which day. Um, and then secondly, the closet door in our bedroom, like our closet, like the door like literally broke. And like, I I literally don't know how, like the whole bottom thing just came out. And I guess because the doors are kind of old, like that makes sense, but I don't know, like the whole bottom track came out of the wall. So I was praying it didn't like fall down because that has happened before when they come off the tracks. So they're like the accordion kind of door thing. Um, so yeah, that came off the track. I was trying to figure out how to fix that. I could not fix it, save my life. So I was like, Okay, I'll just wait till Austin comes home tomorrow. It's be fine. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's that. That's how my day's going. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go hang these up now, and then I'll show you guys like everything and how it looks. And I'm hoping it looks good because right now I feel like the closet is just a hot mess express, and I'm gonna make it not look like that. I want to make it organized so I don't have to keep having a stress out every time I go and put the clothes away that the closet just looks like a disaster and I'm trying to make use of the little room that we do have in the closet so that is that I'm gonna go try and figure this out and then I'll show you guys okay I got the closet done I put Austin's shorts I used those hangers I showed you guys earlier and then I used the baby hangers for the pants and I think it looks just so much cleaner and um better and i don't know i just i love it i think it looks just way better um and then we have my pants over here which i'm still obsessed with i think it looks wonderful um i'm still trying to figure out this situation if you guys have any 
recommendations, please let me know. Um, just to kind of give it like a cleaner aesthetic. I tried to like color coordinate things, but I think it's like the hangers that are annoying me right now, to be honest with you. But anyways, that is that. Also, this is what I was talking about with the door breaking. Like this piece like came out of the wall, so there's nothing on the bottom now. So like you have to be very careful when you close it and there's like nothing holding the door at the bottom. Which is like kind of annoying, but we're we're dealing with it. We're dealing with it, okay? See, and then this just kind of happens, it just slowly starts to drift. Unless you like really get it in there. But yeah, that's the closet update. We're gonna keep working on it um until I am like obsessed with everything. But slowly but surely, it's coming together. Um what else was I gonna say? Oh, I'm cooking dinner right now. I figured I would show you guys what I'm cooking. Well, first of all, I'm making this Tuscan chicken and spaghetti squash. It's so good. I make this all the time. This is just my little, like, recipe book. I have a bunch of stuff in here. It's just way easier because I usually have, like, a podcast or something on my phone. Um, so I like to keep the recipes in this book. Then I have a spaghetti squash that I just cut in half, sprayed it with some non-cooked non-cooking spray salt and pepper um put it in there and i did scrape all the seeds out before i put it in there and then we're gonna use some this is just everything that you need salt pepper heavy whipping cream parmesan cheese sun-dried tomatoes make sure you get the julienne cut because i feel like it's just easier that way um i don't like the ones in oil as much so i prefer these ones some Italian seasoning, minced garlic. I always get this kind. Uh, it's just so much easier than having to like mince your own fresh garlic. Don't come for me, it's just what I prefer. Um, some spinach. These are um, boneless, skinless tenderloins. And then just some butter. And that's what you're gonna need. I'm just, I just finished doing some laundry. I have it in the wash it now i just vacuumed the whole house and that is that it's literally i don't even know what time it is it's 5 43 this time change is freaking me out literally look at this it's already getting dark outside like the sun is fully going down right now and it is so weird to me also i still have these ghosts up i really like them on the window I know it's weird. I really need to take them down, but anyways, that's for another day. Um, but yeah, it's, this time change is really messing me up here. Oh, my mom's calling. Hold on. Um, I haven't vlogged in like probably a week and a half. Um, I've been crazy with just like life in general, um, but I'm actually going to do a like pot roast, so I figured I would show you guys it. And yes, I did decorate for Christmas. That vlog will be coming soon. Um, just showing like all my holiday decor and stuff like that. Um, I didn't buy anything new this year, so yeah, I just feel like I didn't like need to. I didn't really have anything that I was like, oh, I should get a new one of these. You know what I mean? So. Um, yeah, let's do this. It is a slow cook cooker garlic herb pot roast. It looks like this. I just found it on Pinterest. I've never used a, like, crock pot before, so we're gonna see how this goes. I've had this crock pot for so long, like, probably two years. I've never used it. So, we're gonna break this bad boy out. Okay, let's 
let's do this. I cannot believe that Thanksgiving is already next week. Also, sorry, I have the meat defrosting in the microwave because I forgot to defrost it. And this is supposed to cook for like seven to eight hours and it's 12.30 already, so. I really didn't plan this well, but it's okay. We took our employees yesterday for like a day out. Like had lunch with them and it was so much fun. Oh, also, I have a dishwasher going if you're wondering what that loud noise is. That. Okay, and then I bought these slow cooker liners. Also, is a crock pot the same thing as a slow cooker? I don't know. Oh, yeah, it says right here the original slow cooker. I've seen these so many places people use these because they're like super easy cleanup. So I'm hoping looks like you just put it in there, right? Oh god. So you guys cannot even see what I'm doing. There we go. Perfect. And then you just like don't have to clean it afterwards because that can be just like a pain in the backside. So, what else do I need for this little thing? Oh, I have carrots. I'm gonna get the carrots. Okay, I got the carrots. And then it calls for an onion, but I don't like onions, so we're gonna omit that. Um, and then it said apple juice. One cup of apple juice, which I just have this one. Um, garlic. We have. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have to get the what's it called? I just realized that it says beef stock. Is beef broth the same thing as beef stock? I don't know, but we have this. We have her. So we're gonna do that. I'm also just wondering right now, like where's the I plug this in at? Oh, it's back here. Okay. Well, that's handy, isn't it? Tomato paste. I have this one that's just from Publix. Just Publix tomato paste. March 28, 2025. Okay. We have that. Um, any olive oil? We have some olive oil. What else do we need here? Let's see. What is going on? Parsley. Okay. Some parsley, salt, and pepper. Perfect. Meat is in there. Um, okay, add oil to a skillet and heat and heat to high heat. Once oil is hot, place your pot roast in the skillet and brown on both sides. Approximately three to four minutes on both sides. Place your brown meat in the bottom of your slow cooker. Add onions, carrots, potatoes, optional. Beef stock, apple juice, tomato paste, garlic, parsley. Stir, cover, and cook on low for seven to eight hours. Hmm. Perfect. The only thing I don't have is potatoes, but I'll run to the store today and just grab some mashed potatoes or something to do with this. But I think this is going to be really yummy, actually. So let me just do a little, you know, 
TikTok right away. really need to be able to like cut the fat off of it and I'm kind of mad at myself because I really didn't look and see if I was supposed to be what it was so let me cut the meat off that the fat off this meat and then we'll check back in that might honestly have been one of the worst cooking experiences in my whole life it said put the olive oil in the pan turn it to high heat and then when the oil gets hot, then you put the meat in. Okay, and my whole house just filled with smoke. Like, I have this fan going. There's oil everywhere. And note to self, don't turn it to high heat with oil. I don't know why it said that, but. Dear God, I thought I was about to burn my house down. But the meat is done. Now I need to transfer it to the coffee pot. I literally thought it was gonna full on catch on fire. <laughs> what 
which I know like isn't funny to joke about, but dear lord. Tablespoon tomato paste. Okay. Figure out what to do with that. What's next? Two tablespoons of minced garlic. Or is this all? You know, I guess it's just gonna be like a cook with me video because this is already getting so long. I bet you guys are like, what is she doing? Done. Two tablespoons of dried parsley. Parsley. you guys last night I like my nail like came up and like it broke off like so short and it's literally so freaking painful okay two tablespoons of dried parsley cook on low for seven to eight hours. Oh, I should probably plug it in, right? Okay, it's plugged in. Put it on low. Cover it up. Ready like seven? 
Yeah, this should probably be ready at seven. If I have to bump it up to high heat, that's fine. But now I have to go and clean up this. And I was gonna keep vlogging for you guys, but maybe I'll just do this as like a cooking vlog and then I'll do another vlog because I got my nightstands I have to put together too. They came in the mail finally. So we'll see. Okay, this is done. I feel like I should have let it cook a little bit longer though. <laughs> yeah, what do you think but about it's okay. this? Hold on. It's still shreds though. I think it's still. You can like cut through it, which is good, but. And then I didn't have any potatoes because I didn't go to the store today, so. We have french fries. <laughs> I know it's super random, but. I'll dish this up. I already tasted it. It's so good, so definitely recommend these to you guys.